Megley and I program Shortcuts Canada, which are the selections of TIFF that are Canadian films under 50 minutes long. Um, from that, we program 43 films out of 650 submissions that we watch. We watch everything, I promise. Basically, if we both watch everything, it's like 1,200 films. That's watched. right, in a process of about eight weeks. And from that, we distill it to about 43 films this year, uh, two of which will be playing pre-feature. The other 41 films are playing in six separate programs throughout the festival. Our relationship, I think, is great. We totally bounce off each other. We have a similar taste, and I think they differ when it's the most important, I would say. And we have these yeah. great debates, and we rile up against each other. And if we're mad, I think it's for a maximum of 15 seconds. <laughs> Maybe more for you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't hold grudges. <laughs> uh, we're like an old married couple, really. Yeah. We're like the Statler and Waldorf of uh, <laughs> terrible Muppets reference. But yeah, we're, we're really... Uh, I'm younger than that. We have a lot of fun, and, and I think we surprise each other with what we like sometimes. There's a lot of stuff that automatically you know, we both like, but I think it's because the film will appeal to us in different ways. Um, but then there are films where I'll walk in and it may not have struck me and it'll blow Megali away. And that's fun because then we go back and look at those films and it gives us a chance to really, you know, shape a program that appeals to a wide audience. Obviously we're excited about the 43 films we chose out of 650 plus films, but if we have to point out uh, to a couple of them, we sure can. Um, one of them being, and I think Alex can totally back me up on this, is a film called Aura, uh, O-R-A, by Philip Baylock. Um, it's, it's a bizarre description of a film. It's a 3D thermal dance movie in the sense, I know it sounds like it makes no sense, but it's... Surprising, it's the only one that was submitted. It is, it's shocking. We thought we would have a ton of thermal yeah. 3D movies this year. And it's uh, basically the camera captures the heat uh, out of the bodies of the dancers, and that's what you get to see. And it's it's very HD defined, it's not just visual blobs, it's it's uh, kind of taking it to a new level for 3D. I don't think we've seen something like this ever before. We were completely stunned at that screening. It's an incredible story, it almost tells you know, the story of mankind through dance. There's you know no way to see this but in the cinema at Shortcuts at TIFF. Hidden gems usually come from those unexpected places, and this year we have a film called Throat Song by Rhonda Depensey. It's her first time directing. She's been producing and acting for a while, and it comes from Nunavut in the north uh, of Canada, which is fantastic because the, the better our programming is means the wider range of stories we tell from as distinct of places as possible, and Throat Song really captures a unique story in a unique place following a young woman who's been a victim to violence and has confronted a lot of problems in her life, and now she's confronting problems problems in her community uh, as part of her job. And I think it's one of those uh, rare social dramas that are so acute and precise about a, a certain bunch of people and certainly a certain location. And I think that's rare. Things tend to be sometimes too easily universal. This one is very pointed and very, very successful at it.